Yo, welcome back to the video. Work in progress, but the progress works just as hard as you do. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at the work in progress 101. Again, that is the working progress 101 for all of my posts that don't make it to YouTube. That way you can see all the excitement that I have, all the fun, all the places, all the things that I do right there on that platform. So let's get right to the video. Relationships and trucking. Not relationships in trucking. Relationships and trucking. And? Two totally different entities. You can love both of them, but one of them will get the most of your attention. Depending on what which one gets the most of your attention, that's the that's the direction you'll go towards. Okay? So keep that in mind throughout this whole video. All right. In this whole video, I'm just speaking it from my own perspective, my own experiences, from what I've known, and the stories that I hear. Okay, guys, and the things that I see. All right. So let's dive right into this. This subject is going to be touchy. All right. I might touch some people with this that might get hurt from the things I say from this video. I'm honestly just speaking the truth, okay? So, but if you have an opinion on it, just go ahead and put that down in the comment too, in the comment section, we can talk about it. Without further ado, let's dive right into this. Relationships and trucking. Woo! Man, where do I start? Okay, so, I'll go ahead and say this. Don't come out here and try and find yourself a soulmate, all right? And don't come out here if you just met somebody. Because that's a good way to get your heart broken, okay? Two good ways to get your heart broken. Two pieces shattered, man. Don't do that to yourself, okay? Love yourself first before you do. Before, love yourself out here before you get yourself in a whole different situation, okay? Like trying to find somebody else, all right? Because, believe it or not, there are hundreds and thousands of truckers out here. I'm not even gonna say hundreds of thousands. There's actually thousands of truckers out here in America, and they're getting their heart broken on a daily basis. They're losing money on a yearly basis all because of having a relationship and trying to be an OTR driver. Okay? Don't come out here with a liability. When you're the asset, you have to be, you have to stray away from liabilities, like having a relationship. And I'm not saying all relationships are bad in trucking. There are people having a successful relationship right now. There are, there are thousands of truckers right now having a successful relationship right now. And that truck just pushed me off to the side. But anyways, there are people have, there's a, a lot of truckers out there who are having a successful relationship. You know, the man's driving, the woman's at home, and it just works. There's trust. You know, the, there's no worries, right? Rather if, they're, if they have kids or, 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 or not. You know, I just married. But guys, you come out here, and you just met somebody, it's only been like six months, and you told them he's gonna be an OTR driver. They're like, cool, go ahead and chase your dreams. Reality's gonna slap you right in the face. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt you real bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then wait a minute, let me, let me explain. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get right into this. So, all right, you be somebody, right? You tell them, hey, I'm going trucking. I'll be, I'm gonna do OTR. I'm gonna go drive with the big boys. I'm 
was trying to play in the, in the sand with the big kids, right? Okay, she's like, cool. Handle your business. Chase your dreams. I'll be over here when you, when you need me, right? Cool. You go out here. You get your, you get your permit. You go through all the steps to getting your stuff, right? You go through crime. You know what I'm saying? You get your permit. You talk to the recruiter. Um, you go through the whole process, orientation, boom, you start the process. Now you're over the road, right? Over the road starts. You're not, you no more, you no more in training, right? So then reality hits you. This is when reality hits you. Because she working a nine to five job. She don't have a career. She's working a job. She might be working at um, Red Robins. A Denny's, she's a freaking uh, cashier at um, you know Burlington or something like that, and she just, you know, what I'm saying she's being who she is. She's a woman, right? Women, women, women do what women do, right? And they're good at it. But like I said, this is gonna be a touchy, touchy video. This is gonna be a touchy video, so I might trigger some people. But it's okay. We can talk about it in the comments. But anyways, she's the same person you met before you started trucking. So you're gone, right? And you realize this. You know this woman for six months already, right? You know where you met her, all this type of stuff. So she's working at her job. You know, in, in every job, every employee has a relationship with their other employee, with their other with other employees, with their fellow employees. You know, you might get you might be lucky to find that one woman that doesn't talk to anybody when she goes to work. You know, that's rare. The majority of women talk to the opposite sex when they go to work. And you know what happens? new guy gets hired oh yeah the new guy you know how girls go crazy over the new guy right Jonathan his name is Lorenzo he comes sliding through with his you know polo shoes on polo shirt you know he's probably like the manager the new manager he comes through with the fade with the part on side he might drop a little Mercedes and it's not the new one, but you know what I'm saying? You keep it clean. You come through, slide through. Hey, my name is Lorenzo. Our Denzel, you know. Our Brad. Comes through, yeah, I'm the new manager. Mm-hmm. And then your girl, you, and then you on the road, right? You over the road, you know your girl's schedule. You know what time she get off. You know what time she go in. You even know when she gonna take a break. You got it down to the T when you get out here on the road. You know what, what, what she doing. You probably even have GPS on a goddamn car. That's if you're crazy. But, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, she out there, you out there handling your business. So, and you, you, you decide, you know, I'm gonna call my girl, see how she's doing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get, I got my Bluetooth on. I just push the button and it'll call her. You push that button call babe and you sit back in your chair you lean back mm, yeah i'm gonna have this conversation with my girl we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do in the future you know you, you're a truck driver so you you have all this time to yourself to think about the future nothing else but the future you're like mm, i'm talking about this right there we're gonna buy these houses we're gonna start this business we're gonna buy that truck you're gonna sit back and you're like oh yeah so that phone get the ring and your, your Bluetooth get the And you're thinking all day, here come the third ring. And you know she off work. You know she off work. And it's still ringing. And you like, you think it's yourself, if you ring one more time. You, you know what, and then it goes straight to voicemail. You have reached whatever the area code number is, and wow, you hang it up. Woo! Now, nah, hey, like I said, you're over the road, so you think. Trucking is 95% mental, 
85% physical, okay? <laughs> so you thinking, you're like, oh snap, what the heck, what is she doing? I know she off work, and you driving for hours. You driving eight hours, the whole time. Well, I know she, she don't call you back. 30 minutes go by, no, no, five minutes go by, she don't call you back. 10 minutes go by, she don't call you back. 30 minutes go by, she don't call you back. An hour goes by. She doesn't call you back. An hour and 30 minutes go by. She calls you back. An hour and 30 minutes. Hey, babe. Hey, what you doing? You know, you, you're the man, right? What you doing? You know, you know, everything's okay? You know, you try to keep your composure, right? It's been an hour and 30 minutes. You've been driving. You know what you're doing. But you don't know what the hell she's been doing, right? Hey, babe. Why you been sleep? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You believe it, whatever like that. You know, whatever, whatever. All the while, Right, you just met her six months ago, and Lorenzo comes sweeping by in his, his uh, used Mercedes, but he keep it clean. You know what I'm saying? And he, you don't even know he swept your woman off of her feet. <laughs> but she gonna keep you around though, cause you paying all the bills. You, as a matter of fact, you paying rent. Let me say that it's not even a mortgage. You're paying rent, right? For a place you don't even live at. And that's the dumbest thing to do. That is the dumbest thing to do is to pay rent for a place you don't even, even if you're a solo person, if you, live, if you live by yourself, paying rent is the dumbest thing to do if you're not even gonna live there. You only spend three days a month there, that's stupid. At least get a mortgage, buy a house. Don't pay rent. Don't pay rent. You heard that? Don't pay rent. This mean don't pay rent. And don't live. Don't pay. Don't pay rent for some place you don't even live in. All right. So, well, like I said, this subject is going. This subject is going to hit a lot of people, and that's just the bad side of it, right? I just I went from the bad. Now I'm going to start getting to the good because. You may just have that woman. She might have been just. She might have been tired and just decided to take a nap. Most women are tired after work. Us men, we don't. You know what I'm saying? We 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 get off of work and we trying to do some extra shit. We trying to go over homeboy house. We still trying to go out and do shit. But women, when they get off work, they they tired. You know what I'm saying? So the majority of times they do. They do sleep after work. So that's what happens, especially if you're not home. So, but. Opportunity, uh, you know what I'm saying? There's infinite situations out here in this world. I believe in infinite situations. She might have been tired, she might have been screwing somebody else. Who knows? But you don't want to have that burden. You don't even want to think about that. You don't want to think like that or think about that for him or her. If you're the if you're the woman driving the truck, you know what I'm saying? Because women do drive trucks too. You know what I mean? And men driving trucks, you know, you have a woman home and that type of thing, and that stuff happens. You know, you don't want to have that happen. But now I'm gonna talk about the good things. And this is where this is where it gets really, really interesting. Because the good thing about trucking and relationships is that if you find a woman that has the ambition, the drive, and the commitment to get things done, she'll be a wonderful truck driver that can join you as a team. You guys can team out here together and make twice as much money and save twice as much money than as you would if you were at home, all right? The thing is about America is people always wanna do what the next person is doing. Oh, so-and-so's home, so I wanna stay home and you know enjoy my freedom at home. Like, no, you, you still have to go to work. You're not free, you know that, right? Freedom is trucking. You get out here, I'm free, brother. I drop this load off and I tell my dispatcher, hey, I want to take two days off. I want to uh, do a 34-hour reset. I want to get my hours good so I can run the next day. I can run for the whole month without any problems. Cool. Take two days off in any location that I want to be at. Dude, you got to, first of all, you got to work for Prime, okay? You got to go to Prime. It's the only thing, the only thing that's going to stop you from working there is you trying to apply and also your background stuff like that you may not qualify some people may not qualify to work for prime which that's how good it is you may not even qualify 
if you gotta apply for a place and get qualified, you, you know it's a good place to be in. So, um, <laughs> you know, but anyways, you and your wife, your, your, your husband, or your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, y'all get y'all butts on this truck and y'all work together, you eliminate the rent, all you have is food expenses and a cell phone bill, and everything else is automatic. Like if you're leasing the truck, lease payment and stuff like that, that's all automatic, gas, that's all automatic. But the miles you do, and the loads you take, everything else is just saved, it's a profit. And you do this for three years, minimum? Dude, it takes three months to get your CDL and get trained. And then you take three years, you you will save way more money than somebody who went to college. A person would probably spend one hundred twenty thousand dollars average to go to a four-year college. And this ain't no regular, this ain't no like community college. This is like, cause everybody you know, everybody knows a good college gets you a good job. So, like we'll take a place like Stanford or Harvard or um, or even like in Texas, like. Um, uh, what's 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 one Texas? Um, like, like, like any any good college in Texas. I don't know the class of college, A college, B college. I don't get all that stuff. But anyways, an average person would spend about one hundred twenty thousand dollars for for college. But in that debt that they obtain, you can save that much. You can save that much money, you know what I'm saying, in the same time that it took for them to complete the course, you know what I'm saying, if they fail, they have to keep paying money and stuff like that too, they're lucky enough, they're smart enough, study hard enough, you know, they won't, they won't spend 120000 they won't spend more than $120,000 on a good degree at a good college, so, with trucking, you save in a three-year process, you save way more money than hundred thousand dollars with no rent. Man, you guys get down with that, man. You got you guys can go ball out of control. Or if you if you want to if you're worried about cash flow, because I'm, I'm in my I'm in my cash flow uh, mindset. My my I'm in the cash flow. That's what I call. It. I'm, I'm in the cash flow mindset of things right now. I'm worried about my cash flow then spending money on Lambos and big houses and stuff like that. I'll get all that stuff later. But it's all about cash flow for me. So that's what I'm working on. And that's what you guys should be working on too as well. But like I said, the best way to do this is to come in here and to to pretty much you get in here, you get in trucking and you have a relationship with somebody who's doing, who wants the same thing as you. Especially if she doesn't have a career, she's working a job, a regular job, you know what I'm saying? If she, if she wants to work at that regular job, especially if she doesn't have any kids and she wants to work at a regular job, you might want to think about you guys' relationship because, you know, uh, there's an opportunity that arises every day, you know what I'm saying? If you are on the truck with her and y'all doing this together, the opportunity that happens is that you guys know each other even more. You plan. You have a thorough plan. Every day y'all wake up and y'all want to do, you know what I'm saying? You want to have a successful future. You wake up and you plan it and you get things done. You know, as far as working a job, she might have a different schedule than you. She's getting off early, you're getting off late, and you guys don't really see each other. And trucking is really good if you don't have a family yet, if you don't have kids. It's wonderful. It's marvelous if you guys don't have kids. That way you guys can do this together. It's way better. You know, and uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, you want to just set yourself up for success when having a relationship on truck. Because you guys here building together, that's the American dream. We're trying to live like everybody else in the world. He's out here paying rent. Okay, yeah, it's cool to go home, but if you're, if you're young, I'm 30 years old. If you're like my age or younger or a little bit older, and you don't have a family, and you have a relationship with somebody, y'all need to get on this truck, and 
Actually, y'all need to think about y'all retirement. Quit thinking about the weekend. Getting ready to take the weekend off. Come on, that's, that's so 90s, so early 2000s. It's all about the Benjamins. Money make the world go round, right? And trucking is not going anywhere. America runs off trucking. Even during a pandemic, we're still moving. And while other places are closing down, we are still moving, regardless. Prime is, Prime, if, I don't know if Prime is the biggest refrigerator transportation company, but they're the best at what they do. Uh, there's, we always find, they always find loads for us, no matter where we are, it's, it's a wonderful thing, okay? So, shout out to Prime for making this work and allowing me to drive for them. I, I believe Prime will be my first and last company that I'm going to work for. I don't believe in, I don't believe in that, you know, jumping from company to company, trying to get the most money. No, 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 successful people do one, or they stick to one good thing and they do that one good thing very well and they become successful at it. Like with Prime, all you need is Prime. You don't need no other company. Because Prime, you can either become a, a company driver, which pays pretty good, or you can have a, a, a lease truck, which pays pretty good, or you can lease, you can own a truck, or you can buy a truck cash. Where else do you need to go? Where, I mean, literally, where else do you need to go? Prime has the loads, and you can make more. We can make a whole lot of money if you're, if you're training other people, which I'm going to be doing that. I have to go through a winter season before I can train people. So I'm waiting until after my winter season. After my winter season, I'll go and get a lease truck. And then uh, I'm just going to keep promoting myself, man. In this life, you got to promote yourself. Promote yourself. And get yourself a good husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend that you can trust. Y'all y'all both can get out here and do what it takes to make it work. Stop trying to live like everybody else with this 9 to 5 crap. This job is just over broke crap. That's what job stands for. Just over broke. Guys, you gotta think outside the box. Okay? Matter of fact, there's, like me personally, I don't think about a box or a circle. Like my, I have a piece of paper and I'm all over the paper. I don't went all over the paper. I'm even outside the paper. I don't draw inside the lines, but I'm all, I'm all, I'm everywhere. I got a straight line, I got a vertical line, I got a horizontal line, I got a parallel line, I got a, uh, I got, I got a, a line that goes in a circle. I, you know what I'm saying? My, I'm all over the paper. I'm trying to cover the whole paper. A lot of people put themselves in a box. A lot of couples put themselves in a box. And they're just like, go home, go to work, and that's it. No, push yourself. Life is more exciting when you push yourself. Save up about three, four months of rent or even a year's worth of rent. Spend a whole year saving up a year's worth of rent. And get CDL. And get out here and do what it takes. No matter what, you're gonna get it done because if you if you, if you just if you just so happen to fail, there's really no reason why you should fail and fail, you know what I'm saying, unless you get into a wreck. But that's because your ass wasn't paying attention. That's the only reason why. You didn't give no space to the person in front of you. You were going too fast. It's because of you. Safety doesn't happen by accident. It happens on purpose. All right, so you gotta think about that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, there's no way you should fail at CDL, all right? So you get out here, you do what it takes to make it work. Get things done. Quit pussyfooting around. You just get it done. Just do it. The only thing stopping you is you. You have the motivation. You have two legs, two arms, and a brain. That's all you need to drive a truck. You really don't even need that. You need one leg and one hand, or one leg and two arms, and your brain. You can be you can miss you can be missing one leg. Yeah. You can be missing one eye. You can be bald. There's, there's nothing that should stop you from driving a truck. Alright, it's not hard. It isn't rocket science. Like I said earlier, truck driving is 95% mental, 5% physical. Alright. And a lot of you women who are watching my my channel right now, you 
guys have to realize you can do this too. If you haven't done it, you can do it too. But I suggest you to find, you need to find a man. When it, when it comes to a woman truck driving, you go ahead, you need to find a man that's willing to do this with you. Y'all going, y'all going to prime together. Just talk to a recruiter and be like, hey, we want to start class and do this together. And then we're on the same path. That's what a woman should do. Because a man is willing to get a CDL if a woman's willing to do it first. Like, if a woman, if, if a woman had came to me a long time ago and said she wanted to get her CDL, I would have done it. Trust me. It took me to figure out what trucking could do for me. For my future, for me to realize that I need to go ahead and take advantage of this while I can, when I can, as early as I can. So, when it comes to just relationship and trucking, guys, don't be out here looking for love. Be out here looking for money. If you already found love, then y'all need to be on this truck together. Because that separate, that separate crap, I don't believe in that crap, man. Y'all need to be on this truck together to get a real fine understanding. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to push y'all limit of being together. Some people will be like, ah, oh, I can't live on a truck with no man. What do I look like? A woman supporting my man? Exactly. That's exactly what you look like. Is a woman supporting your man? Because I think the biggest problem is, is you know, when it comes to relationships, that especially in 2020, I don't know what's going on. A lot is wop. You know, when, when Nicki Minaj came out that wop, and you got women like uh, not Nicki Minaj, but uh, not Nicki Minaj. I'm sorry, Nicki. Uh, Cardi B, um, and um, you know, Megan Thee Stallion, all these other hot girls, summer girls, artists that came out. Man, they really are tearing up our women, man. They are really tearing down women with this wop stuff and then, you know what I'm saying, acting like they don't need a man and stuff like that. Oh man, yo. The world is changing. Believe it or not, believe it or not it's gonna get to the point to where men won't need women, but a woman will need a man to have a baby. You know what I'm saying? Because women, they, they have things right now, they're coming out with new inventions to where it's an artificial womb. Like, if a man wants to have a baby, a man wants to start a family, we, we can just get an artificial womb to have it. Same thing with a woman, too. A woman can do the same thing, too. But, I mean, it's like, oh, it's not natural like that. I mean, it's just, women just, women need men. Men need women. I don't get it, but that's a whole other subject. Okay? Let's keep that. It's all about trucking and relationships. All right? Come together. Make it happen. Get it done. Plan for your future. Plan for your success. Because that nine to five crap is bull crap. Get out of that. Become your own boss in trucking. And do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy in trucking. All right. If you're looking at this videos because you're thinking about getting, if you're looking at this videos because you're thinking about getting getting into trucking. You know, and you want to do you want to do this with a, a partner, right? The best way of doing this. Best way, man. Best way. Look, I just, there was a woman driver driving that truck right there. She passed me. Shout out to, uh, I don't know what company that is. But she's driving. She's eating Cheetos and driving. She comes to the has a man in the back. In the back seat. Just, you know what I'm saying, relaxing. She might be seen. She might be just, you know what I'm saying, driving by herself. But I see that a lot. There's a lot of women drivers out here. And they're doing this. Um... No fear, <laughs> really, and I salute them. So, uh, like I said, get yourself a woman that's ambitious enough to do this. It's not hard. She can do it. If you can do it, she can do it. Trust me, it's no difference. All right, it's not physical. It's all mental. Women are mental creatures. Mental physical. If anything, this is a woman's job. Than anything, to be honest with you. But um. You know, it is what it is. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Again, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at the Work in Progress 101. Again, that's the Work in Progress 101 on Instagram. Okay, guys? Um, link will be at the bottom of the description to follow me on Instagram uh, for all the stories that you won't see on this, uh, won't see on YouTube, you'll see on Instagram. All right? First time watching the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Like I said, comment down below if you have an opinion on what I said. 
if there's anything that I did, if I missed, that you want me to cover in another video, I'll go ahead and do that to my best ability. I'm here for you guys um, while also trying to build for myself. So, yep, work in progress. Another video in the books. I am. Uh,